Miami. Accentuated by the artist's use of alizarin crimson, often used to paint blood. It makes for a truly evocative frame in which to nestle such a powerful visage. And the artist has mainly used round and filbert brushes to perfect the curvature of the model's features. Is that a guy or a girl? Does it matter? <laughs> Fair enough. It's an awesome piece. Well, if you like that, I think you'll absolutely love this piece. It just came in last week. Oh, no flash photography, sir. Oh, sorry, it's just, uh, don't get to see a lot of indie portrait exhibition these days. Portraiture's always been my thing. <laughs> what can I show you next? Uh, well, I've had a good look around, actually, and I can't really find what I came to see. What's the, uh, Prime Minister's portrait? Arriving tomorrow, sir. It'll be on display in our main exhibition room, exclusively for the weekend. Got it. Well, guess I'll have to come back then. Thank you again for visiting, sir. Please, call me Taylor. Uh, is she all right with those easels? Oh, uh, uh, don't mind her. She's just my intern. All right. Anyway, uh, Taylor, I'm Morgan. Pleasure's all mine, Morgan. Uh, if you don't mind my asking what time you finish, maybe I could hear some more critiques over a drink. Oh, wow. And I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm full of surprises, me. It takes guts to approach a woman in her place of work. <laughs> well, how else would you ask someone out? You're a bit younger than what I usually go for. <laughs> Well, age is just a number in my mind. The bar on the high street, 8 p.m. Oh. <laughs> See you then. How many customers was that for the day? Five. Right. <laughs> Was that the last of the easels, Sam? Yes, the same. I arranged them in the storeroom and cleaned the toilets just like the boss. Is there anyone else left in the building? No, it's just us. I'll lock up early then. Is there something wrong with your back? No, it's nothing. Um, I took some painkillers in the office. OK. We've got a big weekend ahead. I need you fighting fit. <laughs> of course, I will be. There is one thing, Morgan. Um, I've been interning here for a while now, and I've learned so much from you, um, including what you look for in good portraiture. Oh, Sam, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, but we just haven't been turning over enough for me to pay you. No, no, it's nothing to do with that. Oh. 
You think it's good enough to have a small part in the exhibition this weekend? Oh. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Art. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't need to say anything. Your talent earned this. Thank you so much, Morgan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now go home and get some rest. We're going to have a lot more customers this weekend. I'll be in early to help you receive the Prime Minister's portrait. Threatening you, madam. No, you need to oh, listen to me. Right, all right, quiet down, quiet down. Uh, no, it, it's fine. He's always around here screaming rubbish through that megaphone. <laughs> all right, we'll move along then, sir. Consider this a warning. You two should come by this weekend and see the Prime Minister's portrait. Yeah, you might be a little tired up, love. Sorry, madam, but we're on duty all weekend. Public safety's the priority. Of course. Well, your work is very much appreciated. Is that your disappointed face? Nikki, oh, of course not. You'd never see that. It, it's my extremely surprised face. <laughs> <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure, Miss Dryden Oaks? Well, I was just passing through the area. I, I did see some police hanging about outside, though. Oh, just checking up ahead of tomorrow. Uh, uh, Let me show you the exhibition room. Very 1970s too. Oh, the manners, electrics haven't been refined for a while, but they'll be back on shortly. Oh, as if by magic. <laughs> and uh, I've made space, especially. Oh, well. It'll be the absolute centerpiece. You won't need that much space. Uh, oh, you brought it. <laughs> uh, what about the scheduled delivery? I cancelled it, don't worry. I thought you'd appreciate a personal delivery. Who knows? The extra attention might even reel in some buyers for these others. Oh, but profits are from admission only. Everything else is about showcasing the portraits. Questionable business model. Are you going to get that? Uh, no, it's not. Um... Ah, 
I knew no one would disturb us. <laughs> now, guard that case with your life. I, I will, Nicky, I promise. Morgan Haynes speaking. The exhibition's closed for the day. Hi, Morg. It's me. Again? Look, sorry to pester. Uh, you'd think I was the baby of the family, wouldn't you? Jamie, I can't talk to you. Yeah, no, all it is is um, I just need somewhere to bed down over the weekend. And it's the last time, right? I'm not in a position to help you anymore. No, but I'll, I'll repay you with interest. I can get some um, like investors for your gallery, and um, I'll sort it all out. You're still here. Who's that? Oh, it's Noah. I told you to clear this up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you fucking dare. Look, Morg, I've got... I've got no one else to call. Oi, oi, seriously, Beth, leave it. My name isn't Beth, you twat. I don't give a fuck, Betty. It's not Betty, either. me borrowing the armchair oh no um of course not that's that's what they're out for customers yeah, it's a bit rickety could do with a refurb i'm looking to paint a copy of one of your i'm port sorry sir we're closed you don't usually close this early do you no but uh we've got a big weekend and so hang on how did you get in uh, the front door should have been locked i'm afraid it wasn't I typed in my passcode and saw it locked, I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I walked right in. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion, sir. It must have been an error or something. It's all right. These things happen. And don't worry, I turned the lock with my own hands after I came in. <laughs> Wouldn't want someone lifting these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandt. Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? A well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, sir, we have a big day tomorrow. We're, we're closing early. Oh, here. Dried Noakes portrait of the Prime Minister. <laughs> How did you pull that off? I met Nicky at a function at the World Trade Center in New York. We hit it off. We finally found a way to collaborate. Wow. An artist with Nikki's profile helping out a well, small exhibition like that is quite something. She's doing me a great favor. With no strings attached, too. I'm Dorian. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like. Uh, Dorian Gray. <laughs> Ironic, eh? Well, it's a lovely name. <laughs> I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean Forger? Faithful reproduction is a fine art in itself. Although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. <laughs> Touche. I've been struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. I never had the talent myself, so I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who do. In that case, could I paint you? I, 
you make such an amazing subject in so many ways. You're really quite enthralling. I suppose I could spare half an hour. <laughs> Brilliant. Let me just reconfigure. <laughs> you prefer to paint standing? Always. It allows me to zoom in and out on my subject. Uh, how are you going to pose? Um, oh, um, oh, I, I, I don't know. I've, um, it's harder than I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Stay like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I can have, uh, some strong opinions. It was, uh, bold but valid. Rembrandt stole his students' work for the last ten years of his career. This is going to be great. <laughs> oh, plastic bottle. Fancy. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's leave it there for tonight. I could uh, sit for you again next week. Let me do your skin tone as a base. <laughs> no, Dorian, I need to get home. I'm not asking for much longer. I know how you artists can get. If I let you start, we will be here all night. All right, uh, this is over. I'm done. I really wouldn't, you know. Stand up and this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Feel under your seat. That is a PAD, a pressure-activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. Similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark which triggers the detonator. Once you sat down on that chair, you became the safety pin. This isn't real. <laughs> no. Well, go on. Try it. <laughs> You've never been someone's muse, have you? Like Victorine Mouron to Manet. Do you want money? Or a Picasso. Uh, uh, I could write you a check. Painted Helga Test off or a painting. Uh, you you could take of any one of these. Dorian, what do you want? the drapes. Multiple sockets. Fancy. Someone's really trying to get hold of you. Morgan, are you there? Morgan! Uh, yes, Nicky. I, um... I need you again. I'll be at the Rampton. 
I've booked our usual suite. I'll make my excuses at home. But Nikki, tonight I really can't. Think very carefully about the next word that comes out of your mouth. I'll take the silence as a yes. Don't let me down. You can't keep me here. Suzanne insisted on dozens of sittings when painting his subject. Goya sometimes needed just a day. I only want the night. Get rid of that shit. Mate, I'm a logger man through and through. Nah, try it. Try it. Uh, wait, that's rank. I think I'm done for tonight anyway. What? Why? Oh, my head's spinning. You know you're an art historian, but I take it you didn't learn how to make bombs at art school. You assume I had the privilege of attending such an establishment? <laughs> no. I grew up dirt poor in Belfast. My father taught me and my brother how to fight, shoot guns, build rudimentary explosives. IRA? You don't sound Irish. And I thought they changed tack to hunger strikes. I never said I was IRA. There are many angry people taking up arms in Britain and beyond. Just ask President Reagan and Pope John Paul II. Thanks for taking an interest in me, though. How do I know the bomb under my chair is real? I had a feeling you'd ask me that. What's that? Dorian? Tell me when Nikki's painting's being delivered. First thing in the morning by a fine art transportation company. Hmm. And how's it being brought in? Uh, by the back door, just through there.
Great. So we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. So that's what you're really after. How did you get in here? My uncle was a chimney sweep. As a teenager, I worked with him and learned how to scale houses and open unlocked windows. Such lowly manual jobs are all I could aspire to at that age. Your painting style does seem somewhat practical. And you look like you could use a good night's sleep, too. My reality means that I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel even more out of place? I know I might not look like you or talk like you. That's not what I was doing. Artists for all and all are welcome at my exhibitions. Well, that's a utopian vision, isn't it? But my social strata means that I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. And you think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? <laughs> Where are you going? Toilet. Wash me brushes. You can't leave me alone, surely? What if I try to escape? I won't clean up the mess. Dare I ask? I'm on my period, you asshole. The stress is making the pain flare up. Ugh. Well, uh, do you have any painkillers? Yes, um, they're in a cupboard in the office. Don't go anywhere, will you? I, I don't need that. Right.
tell me when Nikki's painting's being delivered? First thing in the morning by a fine art transportation company. Hmm. And how's it being brought in? I, by the back door, just through there. Great. So we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. So that's what you're really after. How did you get in here? My uncle was a chimney sweep. As a teenager, I worked with him and learned how to scale houses and open unlocked windows. Such lowly manual jobs are all I could aspire to at that age. Your painting style does seem somewhat practical. You look like you could use a good night's sleep, too. My reality means that I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel even more out of place? I know I might not look like you or talk like you. That's not what I was doing. Artists were all, and all are welcome at my exhibitions. Well, that's a utopian vision, isn't it? But my social strata means that I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. And you think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? Where are you going? Toilet. Wash me brushes. You can't leave me alone, surely. What if I try to escape? I won't clean up the mess. What's going on, Morgan? I can't. I can't. I can't breathe. Calm down. I can't paint you like this. Uh, um, I have um, medication. There are some pills in a cupboard in the office. Thank you. That's, um, that's very helpful. You're welcome. You didn't need to hold me hostage, you know. I'd have posed for you beyond tonight, voluntarily. That wouldn't set me apart. What do you mean? The recognition of one's work often depends on the mythos surrounding it. You know the story of the portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent? Scandalised for being too sexually suggestive by the bourgeoisie of 19th century France. And now it's one of the most famous portraits in history. Infamy is a strong currency. So, <laughs> this is some sort of performance piece. A hostage portrait would be a watershed, don't you think? I want to be a trailblazer, Morgan. 
I need to grab people's attention by whatever means necessary. I see what you're saying. Commerciality is important. I'm fighting to survive too. Admissions are at an all-time low, and I'm hemorrhaging money from the residency at this manner. So exploiting young workers and compromising your dignity is your solution? I... <laughs> Wow. Green alarm, love. Come on. No, don't let go. Where's your safe? I don't have one. Now get off me. Okay. There's a bomb under my chair. Why don't you stop talking shit? Hmm? Get up! Get up! You reckon? It, it, it's just one of my paintings. It's worthless. There's nothing in the till. Now, nah, mate, that'll do. <laughs> no, no, please stop! No, no, no! Please don't take that! Don't, don't take it! I'll do anything! Don't leave! Please don't leave! <laughs> <laughs> I've just split your comrade's arm clean in two. There'll be a compound fracture beneath the sleeve. You've got about half an hour to get her to hospital before she bleeds out. Let me make this easier. It's her or the case. Yeah. What would you have me do, my muse? is compliance, Morgan. You lied to me. Dorian, please don't take it. It would ruin me. Well, you wouldn't get the blame for it. Must be insured for millions. I've still got work to do here. Why would they do that? They have a right to be angry. They just channeled that anger unwisely. So, Shall we?
There's talent in this room. I can see a few of these on the walls of great galleries. Portrait painting is dying. TVs, Polaroid cameras. People have images on demand now. Why would they waste time and money seeing those images through someone's paintbrush? Too afraid of what they might see. Mickey's been with her partner, what, 10 years now? Relationships are complicated. Wouldn't know. What do you want, Jamie? Why aren't you helping me? Or family? I can barely help myself right now. Bullshit. <laughs> You're gonna be fine after this weekend. There's no way this weekend will fix the financial mire you've got me into. Fine, well, I'll just, um... I'll just sleep out on the streets then, shall I? Because you know how safe that is these days. Charming. The security code on the door. What about it? I've been watching, Morgan. Hmm? Why did you choose 1907? It was Frida Kahlo's year of birth, the year of Valaton's portrait of Gertrude Stein, and of course, Vanessa Stephen married the great art critic Clive Bell. 1907 was the year my great-grandfather, Douglas Picklin, worked in his studio in Montmartre. Never heard of him. Well, his best pieces only made it as far as the walls of my childhood home. A meagre legacy is better than none at all. I feel comfortable around portraits. I'm never alone. You needed their company. My parents died in a car accident when I was 14. Jamie became my guardian. Then came his troubles. He frittered away his inheritance leading the high life until it led him. If mum and dad were alive, they'd have shaken some sense into him. They were wonderful people. Nothing is more powerful than the portraits we paint in our minds. One of the great disappointments of adulthood is realizing that our idols are as flawed as anyone else. You've not known hardship, anyway. Hardship is relative. You're deluded by self-pity. You've squandered this. You've had more chances than some have in a lifetime. They'll come back on soon. I know, but unfortunately, I haven't got all night. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not sitting here any longer. Morgan. The best thing I could do is take you with me. I don't care anymore. No, Morgan. No, no. No, don't do that. Morgan, please, please. No, no!
<laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me, you fucking... <laughs> well done for calling my bluff, but I don't lie about everything. Let me finish my portrait, or I will kill you. Who is that? I don't know. Madam, it's Sergeant Robin Latif. No, sir, he has been avoided. He's not his daughter's. It's a policeman. Get rid of him, or I will. Madam. What's the problem? A group of vandals have been breaking into businesses in the area. I wanted to check up on you. Oh, wow. Um, no, I haven't seen anything untoward. You alone? Yes, totally. Madam, I'm going to come in. Burglarizing thugs? <laughs> Don't they have jobs? All good here, Sergeant. That is a sergeant's badge, isn't it? Yes, it is. My sister's an inspector, so I know the Met Police ranks quite well. <laughs> May I ask who you are? Ooh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> He's caught us here, darling. <laughs> You'd have to hold a gun to this one, said, for her to admit she's smitten. <laughs> is this your partner? You can't lie to a policeman, sweetheart. Uh, yes, Sergeant. <laughs> I, I know it's deeply unprofessional, but we got uh, carried away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit creepy in there. Feels like the portraits are watching you. Hmm. Fair enough. Anything else? No, that's it. I can lock up, sweetheart. Well done. No one got hurt. I'm hanging around for a bit. Something's off. They're a cautious couple, Sarge. No need to be worried about it. Sergeant Latif and Constable Jackson responded. We're travelling to the scene. If those policemen had sussed you, would you have killed them? I prefer to avoid death. Sometimes the choice isn't in my hands. So you have rules? I have ambitions. Your intern, Sam, what does she get out of this? Valuable experience in the field. For no money. You're exploiting her. I told you, I have no income and I get no funding. I can't pay her. 
She's one of the few who shares your passion for portraiture. Don't you think you have a responsibility to her? I have many responsibilities. Stop justifying your sins. Sins? I didn't have you pegged for a preacher. You epitomize everything wrong with this country. You take all you can from those below you and give nothing back. What do you want me to do? Make amends. Look, I repaid Sam the best way I could by hanging her painting on my wall. Okay, it's not money, but it's the first time her work has been professionally accepted and that counts for a lot. I guess I have changes to make to my painting. You really value portraiture above all else, over profit, over decency. A very small part of me respects that. Enough to let me go. Let's see. Tell me more about these portraits. You can stand if you like. This was painted two months before the subject died. High contrast background is made all the more vivid by the artist's use of vermilion red. It's a solemn painting. He knew the end was near and didn't sanitize that. I see the reality of age, but also a life well lived. No regrets. Such dignity. What else? This gem of a portrait by Richard Green, a wonderfully classical the style, by the broad brush strokes with the high forehead, the straight muted background no colors, bad mark perfect on contrast the skin. to the beautiful light. Her skin lives. Every one has been placed with and absolute here, precision portrait to create this, painting, this sense of verisimilitude. Now we're very close to. It's appropriate that the poses are so no self-conscious. Illusion of naturalism about it. Older. And the, the high Frank. contrast Frank. backgrounds are fun. Imagine. You're right. There is talent in this room. Talent that I'll always be committed to. What about that one? The Technicolor take on the Mona Lisa. Formally, it's faithful, down to the artist's use of schemata, the blurred softening of the outlines which defined Leonardo's masterpiece. A technique I use myself. The same artist did the piece that hangs in the ante room. So androgyny is their motif? How so? The Mona Lisa is a woman. In popular normative opinion, yes. But it's actually a composite of Lisa Geraldini and Salai, Leonardo's male assistant and lover. Da Vinci saw that gender was the greatest veneer of all, and that true humanity has no such boundaries. Wouldn't you agree? I would. You're on edge. Perceptive as ever. I presume all the paintings are varnished. It 
तो है वो Pure indica. The best sleep aid. Yeah. Um it's great. Bet you're hungry, huh? <laughs> Made it myself. It's been ringing incessantly. Answer it. Ago. I've had a lot on my plate this evening. Nikki, I... you think you've me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. This isn't going to happen. What? Tonight? Ever. <laughs> oh, cute. Look. You don't get it, do you? This is wrong. I could ruin you. If I wanted to, the future of your piss out business is riding on my painting. I'll have to find a way without you then, Nikki. I'm pulling the plug. I want my painting back first thing. Hello, Nikki. Who the fuck are you? All you need to know is my aunt's the editor in chief of one of the country's biggest tabloid newspapers. Oh, <laughs> blackmail, Morgan? Seriously? The media loves an extramarital affair. Don't call again. You're not getting the portrait back. Sorry, I just couldn't stand her inhumanity any longer. Is it done? Almost. Nikki's style is sickeningly glorifying. Pure propaganda. It really kills you that that's what you're here for, doesn't it? I never said it was. Do it. Truly liberate yourself.
You know, I'm just opening your eyes, Morgan. So you are a preacher, then? Please. Religion repulses me. Theism gave rise to the hierarchical systems of power that plague humanity today. Monarchs, presidents, prime ministers. We're preconditioned to serve, yet we're shocked by the greed of politicians and, and bankers scrambling their way to the top of the tree. It's been like this for decades, and it will be like this for decades to come unless someone takes a proper stand. Look. The bottom of the tree would like to speak to you. Shit. Hello? Mork, you answered. Where are you? I'm watching the sun come up over the Thames. What will Mum and Dad say if they can see me now, eh? Shut up, Jamie, please. At least none of the money went to waste, eh? If I had it all again, I'd probably just do the fucking same. I'm sorry, Jamie. Today I have other priorities. Goodbye. Well done, Morgan. This Prime Minister is perpetuating an image of our nation that is complete fantasy. Rule Britannia! Marmalade and jam! He is the reality. Five Tories the true voice of Britain. Bang, 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 bang. A cry for help, falling on deaf ears. Hey. He should be heard. We all should be heard, but our democracy is failing us. Wouldn't you agree, Morgan? Stay there! Morgan! I didn't want to tie you up like an animal. After all I've taught you, this is my thanks. I don't owe you anything, Dorian. You're just full of hate. Someone will have heard my screams and called for help. Get back, Sarge. We need to call for backup. We have a suspected armed hostage situation at Argyle Manor. Firearms unit required urgently. I'm working on it. I'll have an armed response unit with you within half an hour. Fuck's sake. Sure. Why are you doing this, you bad man? For our future, Morgan. It's always been decided for us by the self-interested and the ignorant. It's time to take back that agency. We must weaponize and target the pressure points that will truly harm the establishment. 
was having in Jackson. It's waiting on the response. But we don't have time to stay here, keep the area secure. Secure from what? That's an order. I'll call you if I need you. Sarge! Beauty itself is but the sensible image of the infinite. Francis Bacon Thank you for being part of my stand against oppression. You're taking a stand against the Prime Minister at a portrait gallery. That makes no sense. You lunatic. A fish rots from the head down. The entire establishment is defunct. My actions today shall be a catalyst for change. A stand to show people that with precision and organization, we can destabilize and overhaul the system. Through brutality. It's not a worthy catalyst for change. Change can be inspired, but you need a message that's powerful enough to unite everyone. The da Vinci was born a peasant, so anonymous that his surname was merely the town he grew up in. He committed his life to conveying a message through his art. And the world listened. I wish a beautiful message was all it took. If you'd just have believed in me, we could have opened Britain's eyes together. You stop resisting. You okay? Yeah. You're under arrest. You do not have to say anything. Hold the back up! But it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. I'm going to handcuff you now. Yes, Sergeant. Fucking call the back you Stay calm, please. this without the loss of innocent life, I swear. You wouldn't shoot me in cold blood, eh? Sit down. Oi, freeze. What's going on? What? I, I, I didn't do this. I, I'm unarmed. See, turn to your partner. Where, where, where did the man go? I don't know. I have an officer down in the ninja civilian at Argyle Manor. Suspect fled on foot. Send the paramedics round back as soon as they arrive. Can you cut me free? This is a crime scene now. We have to wait for help to arrive. 
How long will that take? I need to. It's a beautiful morning. Why me? Your exhibition was a perfect symbol. A place of hope. Corrupted by the greed and inhumanity that has consumed our society. No one would have paid any attention to me and my exhibition. But by putting a high-profile asset like the Prime Minister's portrait in jeopardy, well... <laughs> that's enough to force the eyes of the country to fall on my actions here. You're full of shit. You won't inspire a revolution. Not today. Not in a decade. Not in four decades. You're calling me a liar. <laughs> you lied to me all night. <laughs> you lied about the PAD bomb to keep me in that chair in the first place. Well, partially, yes. Goodbye, Morgan. We are presented with the portrait of a great society. It is a veneer, a lie. No petitions or marches will bring the change we need. We've been left with no option but violence. My statement will echo around the world on this day. Behold, my masterpiece.
drink. Oh, wow. And I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm full of surprises, me. It takes guts to approach a woman in her place of work. <laughs> well, how else would you ask someone out? You're a very charming young man, Taylor. Yeah, get that a lot. I'm sure you're very popular with boys and girls your own age. Thank you again for visiting. Right. See you tomorrow, then. He was my favourite customer of the day. Out of how many? Five. Including or excluding the lady who needed the loo? Including. Right. Oh. <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Madam? No, oh, you need to oh, listen to- All right, all right, quiet down, quiet down. Yes, um, he, he snuck up on me and shouted at me and he destroyed my radio. Right, fella, don't make this difficult. You're under arrest for disturbing the peace, mate. I'll take him to the road and radio in for a car to pick him up. Yeah, don't forget to read him his rights as you go. Yeah, come on. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your reputation. Is it broken? Seems like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks an expensive model, too. It was. Well, me and my partner will be on duty locally through the night. We'll be alert to any disturbances. Appreciate it. Seriously, Beth, leave it. My name isn't Beth, you twat. I don't give a fuck, Betty. It's not Betty, either. Jamie, let me speak to the girl. Look, she's, she's not a girl. Okay, she's overrating. Hand her the phone. She wants to talk to you. Hello. Who is this? I'm his sister. I'm here to help... I just met this guy at a bar and thought he was cool. But now... I'm going to call the police if he doesn't fucking leave. Uh, uh, you, you don't need to do that. Just, just listen to me. He bought drugs. Please. His dealers know where I live now. This is when Harry's house. I'm going to Oxford this year. Just listen to me, OK? What's your name? Blake. Blake. That's a beautiful name. Do you have any cash, Blake? Yes, of course. Give him everything you can for a hotel room tonight. You are just trying to steal from me. My name is Morgan Haynes. I'm the curator of the portrait exhibition at Argyle Manor. Come here tomorrow and I will write you a cheque to remunerate you. Deal? Yes. Anything to get rid of him. Thank you. In the future, Blake, beware of people who promise you the world. Learn. Thank you so much. Oh. I typed in my passcode and saw it locked. I'm sure of it. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I walked right in. It ain't you. Uh, you make such an amazing subject in so many ways. You're really quite enthralling. I suppose I... Just reconfigure. Oh, yeah, that's rank. I think I'm done for tonight anyway. What? Why? Oh, my head's spinning. Did you hear that? Yeah, I think it came from the manor. 
Isn't this the one you ponced around today? Yeah. Visiting an art gallery instead of coming to the pub. Why are we mates again? Very funny, dickhead. Uh, the owner. Oh, mate, she was real sweet. Anyway, come on. Riley's party will be kicking off now. Yeah. Mate, call the police if you actually care. Yeah, you go on. Take this. I'll catch up. See yourself. See you there. Don't do that again. I won't be so gentle next time. All right. I'll be good. I know you will. What's that? Dory? Tell me when Nikki's painting's being delivered. First thing in the morning by a fine art transportation company. Hmm. And how's it being brought in? Uh, by the back door, just through there. Great. So we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. So that's what you're really after. How did you get in here? My uncle was a chimney sweep. As a teenager, I worked with him and learned how to scale houses and open unlocked windows. Such lowly manual jobs are all I could aspire to at that age. The painting style does seem somewhat practical. And you look like you could use a good night's sleep, too. My reality means that I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel even more out of place? I know I might not look like you or talk like you. That's not what I was doing. Artists for all, and all are welcome at my exhibitions. Well, that's a utopian vision, isn't it? But my social strata means that I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. And you think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? <laughs> the building should be empty. I know that. Oh, uh, don't go anywhere, will you? Obviously not. Who is that? I don't know. He's not some crazy ex or... Sorry. So, should we get you out of here then? I can't stand up. There's a bomb under my chair. What? Is this bloke like IRA? I don't know. No way. Whoa. Taylor! I could carry you. Sorry, a uh, shit idea. Just get out of here, okay? Well, I can't leave you here.
The police station's not far from here. Get them to send help. They won't believe me. Of course they will. You really don't know what it's like to be black right now, do you? Oh, Taylor, just go, please. All right, I I'll go and get help. Uh, what's the best way out of here? Um... Uh, uh, take the front door. You'll need the security code. Which is? Oh, shit, I've just changed it. Um... Two? No rush. Uh, 1807. Press select after you've typed it. Fancy. I'll see you in a bit. Mate, look, I don't want any trouble, all right? It doesn't need to be. Find anything? The wind blew over some easels. So, shall we? Morgan! Oi! Morgan! What's all the noise, Jamie? So this, uh, this shitty room is all I'm worth, is it? You're lucky there were any vacancies at all. And be grateful Blake gave you cash. <laughs> yes, good. Um, maybe you, uh, can you start a bit of a please? Sorry, sir, I can't do that. You've had noise complaints about you. <gasps> Whoops. Yeah, unless you paid in cash. I'm going to need to ask for a chargeable credit card. Otherwise, we'll kick you out. Yeah, oh, mate, I don't know. Um, look, just give me, um... Give me one second. Morg, listen, I, um, I need your credit card details. You can't be serious. They're going to throw me out in the streets, OK? Please, Morgan, I am begging you. Please, please, please. I don't know what we're going to do. Morg, please. Have you got a pen and paper? <sighs> um, yeah, I do. Wait, wait, wait. 1612. 1612. One nine double eight. Two nine one two. Two nine one two. Uh, always remember how I don't what you used to think credit cards were. Oh eight eighty two. Eighty two. I got it. Well, you are the best, Morg. I love you. Mwah. No wonder your business is going under. your partner? You can't lie to a policeman, sweetheart. Uh, yes, Sergeant. I, I know it's deeply unprofessional, but we got uh, carried away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit creepy in there. Feels like the portraits are watching you. Fair enough. Anything else? No, that's it. I can lock up, sweetheart. What's your partner up to? Stay tuned into the radio. Mm, sounds like a busy night. I'll leave you to it. Is your, um, sister on duty this weekend? No. She's still recovering from injuries she sustained at the riots a couple of months back. I'm sorry to hear that. 
Uh, Alex and I were on duty in Brixton, so I can understand what she faced. And yet our dear Prime Minister wants to cut police spending. Well, that's above my pay grade, sir. Hmm. <laughs> it's the people who suffer at the end of the day. Good night, Sergeant. Make amends. Look. I would. That was a couple of fucking orgasms. Nikki, I... Maybe you think you're not smart at me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. This isn't... Hey, Borg. The bottom of the... The bottom of the tree would like to speak to you. Shit. Hello? Hey, Morg, you answered. Listen, um, thanks for bailing me out. Okay. Oh, Mum and Dad's have this on me now, eh? Do you know the fucking maddest thing, yeah? If I had it all again, I'd probably just do the fucking same. Stop saying these things. I'd like to think you wouldn't. <laughs> I need saving, Mog. How much more can I do? I don't know. You're supposed to be the smart one, so... Just... Just think of something. You can beat this. Look, Mog, just, um, listen, just, 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 like, float me a couple hundred, yeah, and then we'll, we'll call it quits. I'll never ask again, all right, last time. No. Jamie. So, who the fuck is this? I'm a friend of Morgan's. Please stay out of this. You know, for all of Morgan's flaws, you're a real parasite. What the fuck did you just say? You're siphoning society's resources for your avarice. People like you need to be exterminated. Who the fuck is this? What are you doing with my sister? I'm guiding her better than you ever could. What? Morgan, are you all right? Morgan!
your local church choir have got going. Listen to those fools. The glory that they sing of was founded on the suffering of millions. This mindless patriotism veils the divisions that sunder our country. Divisions this Prime Minister seeks to ignore, or even uphold. Wouldn't it? Not again! Called for help. No one is coming to save you, Morgan. How can you be so sure? Because your actions have closed off all your options. You've burnt all your bridges. Hello, emergency service operator. Which service do you require? Yeah, um, yeah, listen, um, somebody's got my, um, sister hostage in Argyle Manor. Sir, how much have you had to drink? Oh, Some of the tree would like to speak to you. Shit. Hello? Hi, Morg. You answered. Listen, um... Thanks for bailing me out. Okay. Oh, Mum and Dad's have this on me now, eh? Do you know the fucking maddest thing, yeah? If I had it all again, I'd probably just do the fucking same. Stop saying these things. I'd like to think you wouldn't. <laughs> I need saving, Mog. How much more can I do? I don't know. You're supposed to be the smart one, so just. Just think of something. I'm sorry, Jamie. Today I have other priorities. Goodbye. Well done, Morgan. Your local church choir have got going. Listen to those fools. The glory that they sing of was founded on the suffering of millions. This mindless patriotism veils the divisions that sunder our country. Divisions this Prime Minister seeks to ignore, or even uphold. Wouldn't it? Not again!
and called for help. No one is coming to save you, Morgan. How can you be so sure? Because your actions have closed off all your options. You've burnt all your bridges. It was all it took. How am I going to get out of here? Once I walk through that door, start cutting yourself free. Thank you. Well, you never gave me a critique of my painting. See. Auburn hair has been accentuated by the artist's use of alizarin crimson. It's often used to paint blood. It makes for a truly evocative frame in which to nestle such a, a powerful visage. The artist mainly used filbert and round brushes to really perfect the curvature of the model's features. Is that a guy or a girl? Maybe neither. Fair play. It's a dope piece. It's for sale if you're interested. We only showcase portraits by undiscovered artists. All of the proceeds go to them, so any support is huge. Yeah, I would, but I've got the next 20 years paying off my student loans, so. Huh, fair play. What can I show you next? Uh, I've had a good look around, actually, and I can't find what I came to see. Okay. The portrait of my princess, Ziggy Ray. Arriving tomorrow. It'll be on display in our main exhibition room, exclusively for the weekend. Got it. Well, I'll come through then. See you soon, sir. <laughs> uh, no flash photography, sir. Oh, uh, sorry, man. No cap. You got the best portrait exhibition in London. Congrats. Thanks. Uh, you can take off your face mask if you want. I won't tell if you won't. Safe. So listen, uh, this girl I met on a dating app says that you've got a little side hustle. <clears throat> what are you after? An eight. 45. Come on, man. Do it for 25. Uh, it's pure indica. Do you want it or not? That's all I've got. Then I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Have a good day.
Nano Prize winning artist, Nikki Dryden Oaks. It's my first ever portrait. I was so nervous, but I can't wait for you guys to see it. It gets unveiled tomorrow morning at Argyle Manor. Get there nice and early to show some love. Ah, oh, it's so. Over a hundred thousand people killed by a virus, but inequality is a true pandemic befalling the populace. What is your future? What is our future? What is our future? Are you? Yeah. What is your future? Eh? Sir, please, I, I don't want any trouble. Your gallery is venerating capitalist figureheads. This is an exhibition, not a gallery. Whatever you want to call it, stop it. Society cannot face it any longer. Sir, you're in my workplace. You are blind. This is a problem. You cannot silence my voice. How about now? Huh? Get out. Really? Hey, hey! Ah! Down! Calm, calm down. You got him. Yeah, I've got him, Sarge. You all right, sir? All good. He wouldn't have done anything, really. We've had a number of calls about him. We'll book him down at the station and issue him a warning for disturbing the peace. Thanks a lot, guys. Is that your disappointed face? Uh, Nikki, of course not. You'd never see that. I, uh, I saw some police leaving. I'm just checking up ahead of tomorrow. Oh. Welcome home, Mrs. Dryden Oaks. <laughs> Shall I show you the exhibition room? Here we are. Decent little space, isn't it? do something with these little places, don't you? I made room specially. It'll be the absolute centerpiece. You won't need that much space. Ziggy's shorter than she looks online. You brought it with you? What about the scheduled delivery? I cancelled it. Don't worry. The extra attention might get this lot sold as well. Well, that is the hope. What about these? I was just deciding which to hang. I've only got space for one of them. Which one were you leaning towards? That's a piece by Femi Oluwen Raju, a single father from East London. And that's his ex-wife? His mother. The woman who brought him to London from a small Nigerian village. She raised him in a new culture. I knew no one would disturb us. Now guard that case with your life. I will, Nikki. I promise.
Mr. Olo and Raju. You have to show someone your portrait. Oh, no way. Do they want to buy it? No, but plenty will this weekend. Uh, what were you calling about? Yeah, uh, I was just wondering about the proceeds from my last painting you sold. Sure, I'll, I'll transfer it first thing Monday morning. My commission is going to be quite substantial, though. You know, for my... Time expertise. Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, thank you for the platform, Morgan. Hey, Sappy. Hello, Morgan. How may I help you? Call Jamie. Calling Jamie. Morg, you've caught me at a rather hectic moment. Oh, I can call back. No, no, it's all right. All right, I'm just packing for Hong Kong. I've got four months of multitasking ahead of me anyway. Four? Mariners in Bugworth. But little Charlie... Well, he's ten, Morg, so not quite so little anymore. Ten? Really? Whoops. Not much of a model uncle, am I? Well, I'm not mum of the year either. Must be hereditary. Anyway, Hong Kong's my last hurrah. I'm winding down after this SBR. Whatever that is. <laughs> Strategic business review. Look, I'm sorry I'm missing this weekend. Are you excited to see Razor's posters blowing up? Looking very promising. You're smoking again, Morg. It helps me relax. Mummy, your nephew has just walked in. He's been asking about you all day. Go on, give him the phone. Hello. Hi, Charlie. How are you, big man? Did you help mummy pack? Yeah. Come visit. We play more video games while she's gone. Hey, you. You know the house rules on video games. Sorry. We'll see what we can do. We're having a family dinner tonight. I'd love to see you. Um, I can't tonight. I've got a lot of work to do. I'll make it up to you. Love you. Love you too. Fine though, fine though. Excuse me? Oh, hi. I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. I, that's what they're there for, uh, customers. You can remove your face mask if you want. Oh, okay. Thanks. The, uh, the chair's a bit rickety, you can see with the refurb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your portraits. Look, madam, we're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we have a big weekend ahead, and... Sorry, how did you get in? The front door should have been locked. I'm afraid it wasn't. My security system was armed. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I walked right in. Sorry for the confusion, madam. There must have been some sort of error or something. Well, it's all right. These things happen. Anyway, don't worry, I, I turned the lot with my own hands after I came in. I wouldn't want someone lifting one of these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandt's. <laughs> Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? Just a well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. 
Look, like I said, w we've got a big day tomorrow and we're closing early. Oh, yeah, the Dryden Oaks portrait of Ziggy Ray. How'd you pull that off? We displayed Nikki's portraits before she became, you know. Won the Turner Prize. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's the personal link. You know, you do a great thing here, showcasing emerging artists. I'm Dorian, by the way. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like... Dorian Lee, the fashion icon. It's a lovely name. I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean forger? I, faithful reproduction is an art in itself, although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. Touché. Now, I've been um, struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. That's why I gave up painting myself. I, I just didn't have it. I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who did. In that case, could I paint you? You would make an amazing subject in, uh, in so many ways. <laughs> And you really seem quite enthralling. I guess I could spare half an hour. Brilliant. Uh, let me just reconfigure. Do you want me to give you a hand? Uh, oh, if you, um, can you take the easel? That would be great. Sure. Thanks. A bit further back. Take a seat. I'm um, sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I, I have some strong opinions. It was bold, but valid. Rembrandt stole from his students for the last 10 years of his career. Be great. Let's leave it there for tonight. I, I can sit for you again next week. Dorian, I need to get home. I tell you what, I'll take some reference photos and then I won't have to come back. Can I uh, can I borrow your smartphone? You haven't got your own. I'm uh, not really the smartphone type. <laughs> That's refreshing to see. I'll email them to you. If you have an email address, that is. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't worry, I'm not that sketchy. Can I have my phone back, please? Okay, Dorian, I think... That's an important call. Give me... All right, that's it. I, I'm done it. Uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't if I were you. Stand up. And this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Have a feel under your seat.
That is a PAD, pressure activated detonator, a bomb, Morgan. It's a similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark which uh, triggers the detonator. Once you sat on that chair, you became the safety pin. It's, it, it, this isn't real, uh. Go on. Try it. never been someone's muse, have you? Do, do, do like you want money? Camille Claudel to Rodin, or Elizabeth Sidal to Rossetti, or, 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 or a painting. Frida you can Carlo take any one Diego of these. Rivera Dorian, what do you want? Be smart, Morgan. Get rid of her. Morgan, are you there? Yes, Nikki. I... You rejected my last call. <laughs> anyway. I need you again. I've booked our usual suite at the Ransom. 464. I'll make my excuses at home. I'll take your silence as a yes. Don't let me down. You can't keep me here. Cezanne sometimes needed dozens of sittings with his subject. Goya sometimes needed only a day. I just want the night. Can I smoke, please? You'll ruin the paintings. No, nope, they're all varnished. Come on, one won't do any harm. My heart's racing. I'll get anxious. I, I need to stand up. You need to sit still. One. Give me the lighting. Rookie error installing your electrics box in reception. I shut you down within 45 seconds of walking through the door. Good, I promise. I know you will. Dorian? a.m. by a fine art transportation company. It'll be brought in through the back door, just through there. And we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. That's what you're really after, isn't it? He's not going to stop. You capitalist bastard! 
What are you doing, Doreen? The floor is yours. Oh, you don't need that. Your voice will be heard in here. I'm not an untouchable. I once had a life, a family, hopes. Then came the virus of austerity. Cuts. <laughs> Cuts. Four letters. So easy for a politician to say, but it was my lifelines that they cut. I'm not alone. Think of the undervalued key workers. Those laid off every day. Yet. Here you are, canonizing false idols for, for profit. While we, the people, suffer more and more. I mean, she's got me hostage. There's a bomb under my chair. A bomb. What are you talking about? No, no. no. Shut your mouth! Please tell me he's alive. Don't make me lie to you again. How did you get in here? My uncle was a locksmith. As a teenager, I apprenticed for him and learned how to pick almost anything. Such a lowly, manual jobs were all I could aspire to at that age. Yes, those aren't the hands of a painter. I'm guessing you could do with a good night's sleep, too. My reality means I have to pursue my passion outside working hours. Anything else you want to critique to make me feel more out of place? That's not what I was doing. Art is for all, and all are welcome at my exhibitions. <laughs> well, that is a utopian vision. But I, like many, exist under a glass ceiling. You think what you're doing here will break that ceiling? You think sleeping with Nikki will save your business? Uh, where are you going? Toilet. I need to wash my brushes. Well, you can't just leave me here, alone. Surely, I, I, what if I try to escape? I won't clean up the mess.
Dorian, please don't. I, it would destroy me. Oh, you wouldn't get blamed. You must be insured for millions. But I still have work to do. We have custom lighting setups for exhibitions. The electrical board must be playing up and causing the presets to glitch. Hmm. I like it. You didn't need to hold me hostage, you know. I'd have posed for you beyond tonight, voluntarily. That wouldn't have set me apart. What do you mean? The recognition of one's work often depends on the mythos around it. You know the story of the portrait of Madame X by John Singer Sargent? Scandalized for being too sexually suggestive by the bourgeoisie of 19th century France. And now, it's one of the most famous portraits in history. Infamy is a strong currency. A hostage painting would be a watershed, don't you think? So this is some sort of performance piece? Yeah, let's call it that. A once-in-a-lifetime performance. Commodifying your work for recognition. Some artist you are. This ridiculous painting here, a piece of fluent narcissism by a C-list pop star. Rough around the edges, but that's what we do. Give inexperienced artists a chance. So it's just a coincidence you acquired it the day after his sex tape went viral. You saw an angle. There are many trivialities that render talent meaningless. So we have to adapt, commodify our work. If I'm living under a glass ceiling, Morgan, you're living inside a glass house. I see what you're saying. This country's changed. Fuck, the world's changed. And it hasn't been kind to my business. It used to be all about the art, but I can't help that it's an emporium now. The paintings are products, and, and my critiques, sales pitches. And the vanity project of a talentless influencer is your last chance of survival. You sell out. How much commission do you take from each sale? It's minimal. It's just to help cover my costs. My enterprise respects artists. That is exactly what you said to me. It was a striking, naturalistic profile of my niece. It's one of my best pieces to date. What? No, no I'd have recognized you, Dorian. You must have used another name or something. Show me what you're painting. I'll recognize your style. Admin fees, time, expertise, all reasons you gave to keep the proceeds once it was sold. You are cheating artists. Without my exhibitions, they'd have no platform. You have a responsibility to us. You're not a lost cause, you know. What? Call the artist. Make amends.
by telling them that a psychopath blew up their portrait. These contact names. You only see the product, not the person. Sorry, I'm whispering. My, um, my daughter's the right to sleep. I hear you loud and clear, Femi. I'm calling about the painting of your mum. I'm really sorry, but it's... It's what? It's been sold. The person I showed it to earlier bought it there and then. It's amazing. I'm just going to be watching over someone else. I should be very proud of you, Femi. Yeah. You know, that piece was a real labour of love. I look forward to receiving the proceeds after you've deducted your commission, of course. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot about that. The commission's all yours too. The same goes for the earlier painting. Your talent deserved it, and I hope you'll give me the pleasure of displaying your work here again. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here. I, I, that's, that's going to make such a difference to us. Bless you, Robin. Sleep well, Femi. by telling them that a psychopath blew up their portrait. These contact names. You only see the product, not the person.
I'm Robin. Sorry, I'm whispering in my ear. My daughter's the last to sleep now. Hear you loud and clear, Femi. I'm calling about the painting of your mum. I'm really sorry, but it's... It's what? There was an accident. The painting was destroyed. I'm really sorry. Destroyed? How? Um, is it restorable? No, Femi. It's gone. It's just that, um, it was the best likeness if Mama had left. You'll receive full remuneration for it, and the last one I sold. Commission free. Sorry, I, um, I need to go to my daughter. You really are a piece of shit. For telling him the truth. I made amends. He's getting all the money he deserves for him and his daughter. It's not about the money. You heard him. You can't put a price on what that painting meant to him. The most heartbreaking thing for an artist is the loss of their work. I guess I have changes to make to my painting. talent in this room. You can see a few of these on the walls of great galleries. Portrait painting is dying. Everyone has a camera now, and that gives them an agency over how the world sees them. And the world laps up these illusory images. Just look at Ziggy Ray and her cult-like following. The safety net of fame meant that she could relinquish that agency to Nikki's paintbrush on her own terms. Nikki's been married, what, 10 years now? Relationships are complicated. I wouldn't know. Hmm, Jamie. Morgan? Jamie, are you okay? No, no, not really. I'm abandoning everyone, it's not right. It's not good for Charlie. I thought you said this was the last time. One final push and then you can retire and focus entirely on your family. If he hasn't broken up by then. Mummy? Darling, what are you doing up? There are people shouting outside my room. What? <laughs> what the fuck's going on out there? Jamie? Charlie? Morgan? Morgan? Everything's gonna be all right, guys. Just... Dorian, that's my sister and nephew. Well, that'll be all right. Police response time for the wealthy is three times quicker than the average. On another note, your phone passcode, 1992. Why did you choose it? 1992 was the year that Francis Bacon died, but that's a bit obscure and macabre. 1992 was the year I first visited a portrait exhibition at Argyle Manor. It was set up by a genius curator named Finley Fairborn. This is where I fell in love with portraiture as a kid. As I grew up, Finley took me under his wing and I worked at his exhibitions every summer until I could take over the business. I worked by his side until his dying day. I feel comfortable around portraits. I'm never alone. You've needed their company. 
My parents weren't around a lot. And Jamie and I looked out for ourselves. Although we took different paths, we support each other, come what may. One of the great disappointments of adulthood is when those you trusted as a child drift away in the name of self-interest. Even family. That was so eloquently phrased, it felt personal. Strike a nerve, did I? Mood lighting. You know what? Fuck this. I'm not sitting here any longer. Morgan. The best thing I can do now is take you with me. I I don't care anymore. No, no, no. Uh, Morgan. No, no, Morgan, Morgan. Stay there, stay there, don't move! doing this to me. Well done for calling my bluff. But I don't lie about everything. I'm going to paint you. And if you don't let me, I will kill you. Who's that? I don't know. Sir? It's Sergeant Robin Lateef. I know you're in there, I can hear your voices. Please open the door. It's a policewoman. No shit. Follow my lead. Evening. Oh, do you mind if I... Oh, we are outside. <laughs> Where's the curator? Uh, uh, just in here. Uh, Morgan! Everything all right? Of course. All good. Uh, why have you stopped by? There's been a sudden spate of antisocial behaviour in the area. We wanted to check up on you. Oh, well, uh, people must be taking out their frustrations. It's been a tough couple of years, Sergeant. That is a sergeant's badge, right? Um, my sister's an inspector, so I know the Met Police ranks quite well. <laughs> May I ask, who are you? Oh, well, uh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> She's caught us here, babe. Your partners? Yeah, to all intents and purposes, but uh, you'd have to hold a gun to this one's head to make it official. You know how I don't like labels. Yes, but I think it's about time you started giving me what I want. Even if it makes me feel trapped. What do you think, Sergeant? Hmm, that's none of my business. Exactly, Morgan. Let's go inside. But... My woman and me, we haven't married. Doesn't make a difference. Sometimes titles create more problems than they solve. Wife. Husband. Prime Minister. President. Supreme Leader. I get your point. I still think you should listen to him. These things are a team effort. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm going to ask you one more time. Is everything all right here?
fuck is that? Madam. <laughs> Nobody needed to die tonight. Start! Welcome back. What? The police? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. If you're trying to teach me some sort of lesson, there's far more immoral people in this city. Well, their comeuppance is coming too. How do I survive tonight? You could start by proving that some part of you still cares about the art. And what if I don't? You might surprise us both. Tell me about more of these paintings. Stand. You want? No, this is the only portrait I've painted that I've ever exhibited. I thought you didn't rate yourself. I don't, but I wanted to paint this subject. He posed for this two months before he died. I accentuated the high key lighting by using vermilion. He knew the end was close and he didn't want me to sanitize that. To show the reality of age, but also a life well lived. Such dignity. What else? There are many faces in this painting. It gives us that feeling of claustrophobia that we know. So if we only see perfect tightness together, another form of restriction combined with the flattened perspective. Flashes of red pools. This it gives this contemporary together. painting a 1920s feel. Even something by the I love young. the clever use of simple lines over a textured background. Muted tones of the subject. The background and the body separated into three distinct parts. Serene, contemplative, high contrast colors we just focus on those areas for too long instead our eye is immediately directed back to the face depict that sadness that the artist wanted to portray this is what portraits should be you're right there's talent here i'd lost sight of that what about this one a technicolor version of the mona lisa Formally, it's faithful, down to the use of sfumato, the blurred smoothing of outlines that defined Leonardo's masterpiece. The same painter did the piece that hangs in the cellar. So androgyny is their motif. How so? Mona Lisa is a woman. Well, in popular normative opinion, yes. But it's actually a combination of Lisa Geraldini and Salai. Leonardo's male assistant and lover. Da Vinci saw that gender was the greatest veneer of all, and that true humanity has no such boundaries. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, I would. Sit back down. You seem on edge. Perceptive as ever. 
Do you want to smoke? I'm not stopping you. I'll allow it. like chow mein. Would have preferred pad thai. <laughs> well, you snooze, you lose. Mm. Sounds exciting. Let's go check it out. For you? No. There'll be others out there tonight with far less subtlety than me. Others? Oh, she is ravenous tonight. You've got a nerve? Should have been here hours ago. No. Maybe you think you've outsmarted me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. I'm sorry, Nikki. Something came up. Oh, something came up, please. I could ruin you if I wanted to. The future of your piss and exhibition is rising on my face. You fucking coward. If you hate me so much, why don't you just put a bullet in my head? How does it feel to be a home wrecker, Morgan? You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, one thing I do know, but I'll never ever do it again. It's done. Finished. Did you hear that, Jamie? Is it true? Morgan? It is, Jamie. I Let's get back to work. Is it done? Almost. I think it would garner a lot of attention on one of these walls. Remind me how many customers you had yesterday? About... five or six. Something negligible. Hmm. If even a fraction of these likes turn up in person, your business is saved. And perhaps portraiture will become relevant again. 
for a short while at least. Nikki's style is sickeningly glorifying. Dishonest portraiture. No better than the filters Ziggy Ray piles onto each picture. It really kills you that that's what you're here for, doesn't it? I never said it was. Astounding the clout these influencers carry. For better or worse, a leader can govern through social media. I wonder how far such a monopoly on society's attention could go. <laughs> Sway elections. Expose corruption. Change the world. They are the dictators of our culture. Our new monarchs, regaled by legions. What a world we live in. What's your view on social media, Morgan? Does it matter? All your opinions matter to me. Go on. I'm listening. It's a poison. We now live in an age of comparison and inferiority up against what we see on our screens. Well, there's always someone better than you out there. Exactly. Not to mention the proliferation of misinformation. Especially when the airways are abused without filter. And then there's the most insidious misinformation that bubbles beneath the surface. That indoctrinates the disillusioned and crystallizes their resentment into radicalization. Femi, it's 5 a.m. Yeah, I know, Morgan. I'm sorry for calling. I've been up all night painting a new piece to replace the one that got destroyed. It's not as good, but I want to be part of the exhibition. No, the exhibition's full. I... Go back to bed, Femi. Please, have a look at it at least. Don't you owe me that much? I owe you nothing. I'm sorry you feel like that, but I'm here now. What, you're outside the manor? Yeah, yeah, me and my daughter. I'll just leave the painting on the doorstep. No need, Femi. I'll let you in. No, don't bring them into this. You're in. Have you got some kind of pyrotechnic insulation planned or...? Something like that. She's such a good girl. Not a peep throughout this excitement. Oh, no, it's, <laughs> it's an act. She was keeping me awake to finish the new portrait. It's great that you're getting a flavour for the front line of portrait painting, Morgan. <laughs> you have no idea. How are you enjoying posing? Oh, he's loving it. A bit of a fidget, but he's a good model. Yep. Well, I better get going. Um, I've left the portfolio in reception once you're done with it. See ya. Femi, help me. Sorry? You need to get me out of here. What are you talking about? Oh. No, you can't shoot him, Dorian. He's holding his baby. Please. You would risk the life of a father and his daughter to save your own. Just as we both knew, Femi. Yeah. What's going on? Femi was the one who alerted me to your work here in the first place. What? I helped you. You helped yourself at my expense, but that's over now. 
days of the few exploiting the many are done. We are legion. I hope Dorian's work opens your eyes. Give my regards to the others. Yeah, of course. Sit back down, Morgan. You know, I'm trying to enlighten you, Morgan. So you're a preacher? <laughs> Please. Religion repulses me. Theism gave rise to the hierarchical structures of power that plague humanity today. We're preconditioned to serve, and yet we're shocked by the greed of bankers and politicians scrambling to the top of the tree. It's been the same for decades, and it'll be the same for decades to come unless someone takes a proper stand. What's this now? I sometimes hold exhibitions involving light installations. What's the theme? The cycle of life. This one's childhood. Adolescence. Adulthood. I don't want this to end. It will. Just as all life begins and ends. In darkness. You didn't try to escape. I don't want to tie you up like an animal. All I've taught you, and this is the thanks I get. I don't owe you anything, Dorian. You're just full of hate. <clears throat> you know, it's only a matter of time before the police get here. But I haven't finished. Forget about your painting. What does it matter? They don't have enough to spare. Hmm. It can't be just about the painting. What do you want? That's a question that never gets asked of the people. Our generation has been through every upheaval. The cultural, technological, social, political, economic, and not once have we had an ounce of agency in our future. It's always been decided for us by the self-interested and the ignorant. It's time to take back that agency. Dispatch, we have an armed hostage situation at Argyle Manor. Firearms unit required urgently. Hello? Anyone? You've watched 
way too many conspiracy theory videos, Dorian. I chose your exhibition as a symbol, a place of hope corrupted by the greed and inhumanity that consumes society. You fucking psychopath. A single hostage in a meaningless art exhibition won't change anything. Oh, but it's not meaningless this weekend, is it? The eyes of the world had turned to it, and that's what made it so perfect. Perfect for what? To be a small brushstroke as part of our larger piece. When Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he shed tears, for there was nothing left to conquer. Nice quote. <laughs> After all this, you really are just a thief. Oh, I'd have happily watched this burn. But to the victor, the spoils. Thank you for being my part in our stand against oppression. Today is a statement, a catalyst for change. Through brutality? That isn't a worthy catalyst for change. Change can be inspired, but you need a message powerful enough to unite all. Leonardo da Vinci was born a peasant, so anonymous that his surname was merely the town he was born in. He committed his life to conveying a message through his art, and the world responded. I wish a beautiful message was all it took. Just like you said, I'm the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of your exhibitions. I was expecting... Yourself? I guess I didn't like what I saw. If you just believed in me, we could have walked out of here together into a new Britain. I can't let you walk out of here free. Fine. I'm sorry it has to end like this. Quite fleet-footed, aren't you? Sit down.
Morgan. Jamie, I... I'm so sorry for... Your life's all that matters to me now. Everything else can wait. We've got to get out of here. Explosions are happening all over London. Come on.
50. 25. Uh, it's pure indica. Do you want it or not? This is all I've got. Then I'm afraid I... Whatever you want to call it, stop it! Society cannot face it any longer. Sir, please, I, I do understand your concerns. Just, just be respectful. See it? The broken system. The chaos you head towards. Not if we can help it. Off you go, mate. Everything all right, sir? We've had a number of complaints about him. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. He's always around here shouting rubbish through that megaphone. You two should pop by tomorrow to see Ziggy Ray's portrait. Who? Our famous influencer, Sarge. She won a big reality TV show a few years back. She's got millions of followers. I don't care. Sorry. Thanks for the offer. Sadly, we're both on duty all weekend. Well, I totally appreciate that. Cracking lady named Sam Tringford painted this of her dog, Muppet. Her painting's better than her naming. Amidst a lifelong struggle with depression, she rescued Muffin as a puppy. She gave her new life, a new purpose, the feeling of being loved unconditionally. The dog or the owner? Sam painted Muffin in her prime. I knew no one would disturb us. Now guard that case with your life. I will, Nicky. I promise. Sam, I was just showing someone your portrait of Muffin. Does she have another admirer? Is the Pope a Catholic? Please. <laughs> How is the sort of scan? Not so great, actually. I was just calling to ask about the sale proceeds from my last painting that you sold. Vets bills. <laughs> a lot. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll, I'll transfer the money first thing Monday morning. My commission is going to be quite a bit, though. It was a hard sell. Bollocks, really? Come on, girl, let's take a break. Oh, every little helps, I guess. Thanks. At you all day. Sorry, Jamie, I've got a dash. Make up a good excuse for Charlie, OK? Morg, he misses you. You're his hero, you know? I'm sorry, things are just crazy over here. I... Give him my love. Understood. Love you. Don't hear you. Mm. Mm, sorry. Excuse me? Oh, hi. Yeah, I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. I, that's what they're there for, customers. You can remove your face mask if you want. Thanks. The, uh, the chair's a bit rickety, you can see with the refurb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your portraits. Look, madam, 
we're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we have a big weekend ahead and... Sorry, how did you get in? The front door should have been locked. I'm afraid it wasn't. My security system was armed. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I walked right in. Sorry for the confusion, madam. There must have been some sort of error or something. Well, it's all right. These things happen. But don't worry. I, I, I turned the lot with my own hands after I came in. I wouldn't want someone lifting any of these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandt. <laughs> Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? Yeah, just a well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, like I said, we've got a big day tomorrow and we're closing early. Oh, yeah, the dried Noakes portrait of Ziggy Ray. How'd you pull that off? We displayed Nikki's portraits before she became, you know. Won the Turner Prize. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's the personal link. You know, you do a great thing here, showcasing emerging artists. Oh, I'm Dorian, by the way. Uh, Morgan. Dorian, like... Dorian Lee, the fashion icon. It's a lovely name. I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean forger? I, faithful reproduction is an art in itself. Although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. Touché. Now, I've been, um... struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. That's why I gave up painting myself. I, I just didn't have... It. I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who did. In that case, could I paint you? You would make an amazing subject in so many ways. You really seem quite enthralling. I guess I could spare half an hour. Brilliant. Let me just reconfigure. Do you want me to give you a hand? Uh, oh, uh, if, if you take the easel, that would be great. Sure. Thanks. A bit further back. Take a seat. I'm, um, sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I... I have some strong opinions. It was bold, but valid. Rembrandt stole from his students for the last ten years of his career. Great. Let's finish there for tonight. I, I can sit for you again next week. Dorian, I need to get home. I tell you what, I'll take some reference photos and then I won't have to come back. Can I, uh, can I borrow your smartphone? You haven't got your own. I'm, uh... Not really the smartphone type. <laughs> That's refreshing to see. I'll email them to you. If you have an email address, that is. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't worry, I'm not that sketchy.
Can I have my phone back, please? Okay, Dorian, I think... That's an important call. Give me... That's it. I'm done. Uh, uh, uh. I wouldn't if I were you. Stand up. And this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Have a feel under your seat. That is a PAD. Pressure activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. It's a similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark, which uh, triggers the detonator. Once you sat on that chair, you became the safety pin. This... This isn't real, I... Go on. Try it. never been someone's muse, have you? Do, do, do you want money? Clamille Claudel to in the Rodin. Tilbury. I could transfer you Or Elizabeth Sedal to Rosetti. Or, or, or a painting. Uh, Frida Kahlo take any to one Diego of these. Rivera. Dorian, what do you want? Be smart, Morgan. Get rid of her. I clearly know your art, Dorian. But I take it you didn't learn how to make bombs at art school. Hmm. You assume I had the privilege of attending such an establishment. My mother was a survivalist who taught me and my brother to make rudimentary explosives. Progressive parenting? Perhaps. Or perhaps I'm... Just another millennial who spent too much time on the wrong internet forums. Whichever narrative suits. Thanks for taking an interest, though. How do I know that the bomb under my chair is real? I had a feeling you'd ask that. a.m. by a fine art transportation company. It'll be brought in through the back door, just through there. And we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. That's what you're really after, isn't it?
thing. So this is some sort of performance piece? Yeah, let's call it that. A once-in-a-lifetime performance. Make amends. By telling them that a psychopath blew up their portrait? <laughs> These contact names. You only see the product, not the person. Morgan? It's really late. I'm calling about your painting, Sam. I'm really sorry, but it... What's happened? There was an accident. The painting was destroyed. I'm really sorry. An accident? Uh, are you okay? Fine, thanks. Do you have insurance? Could there be any compensation? Financial compensation, you mean? Yes. Any small amount could help with Muffin's treatment. Yes. You'll receive full remuneration for it and the last one I sold. Commission free. I know it won't bring the painting back. But... Honestly, Morgan, the painting doesn't matter. The money will go a long way. Any time. Happy? I'd never have told an artist about the destruction of their work. But I hope the best for Muffin. Why did you choose it? 1992 was the year that Francis Bacon died, but that's a bit obscure and macabre. Why have you stopped by? There's been a service, but uh, you'd have to hold a gun to this one's head to make it official. Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> it's extremely unprofessional, but we can only see each other here. We both still live with our parents, you see. London prices, eh? Hopefully we'll get our own place soon. It's, uh, it's creepy in there. It feels like the portraits are watching you. <laughs> Anything else? No. That's it. Well, I can lock up, hon. Where's your partner? In the car. Minding the radio. Sounds like a busy night. I'll leave you to it, Sergeant. Is your sister still with the force? Uh, no. She, she just got laid off, actually. Oh, sorry to hear that. Lowest number of police on the streets for 40 years. Cuts, eh? It's the people who suffer at the end of the day. Good night. Well done. No one got hurt. I want to hang around for a bit. Something's off. Oh, they're a gorgeous couple, Sarge. No need to be weird about it. Reports of a crowd marching through Morsham Estate on Stanhope Road. All nearby units, please respond. Oh, another one. If that policewoman had sussed you, would you have killed her? I try to avoid death, but the choice isn't always in my hands. So you have rules? I have ambitions.
Yes, I would. Sit back down. You seem on edge. Perceptive as ever. Do you want to smoke? I'm not stopping you. I'll allow it. like chow mein. Would have preferred pad thai. Well, you snooze, you lose. Mm. Sounds exciting. Let's go check it out. No. Maybe you think you've outsmarted me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. I'm sorry. Yeah, Morgan. Does it matter? All your opinions matter to me. Go on. I'm listening. This is how it's got to be. Back that agency. Quick, get back, Sarge. We need to call for backup. We have a suspected armed hostage situation at Argyle Manor. Firearms unit required urgently. We're working on dispatching an SCO-19 unit to you as soon as possible. Working on? Sorry, people, can you just stay back? Stay right back there. Phone down, please. Alex, what's happening? Firearms have to be diverted. They're trying to get another unit out to us as soon as possible. Diverted? To where? What the hell's going on? I'm sorry, I said stay back. Alex, here, please. I know, I know, it's very exciting, but please stay keep back. back. Please. It was all it took.
just believed in me, we could have walked out of here together into a new Britain. Bomb under your chair. The one you lied about, you mean? I may have bent the truth at times, but I never lied once in here. Goodbye, Morgan. Wait, what does that mean? Dorian? Dorian! Dorian! <laughs> Stop and not stay back. <laughs> Come down. Morgan, pick up, please. I'm outside the manor and there are people and police and we can face everything else later. I just need to know you're okay. Excuse me, do you know what's going on in there? Uh, sorry, miss. Hi. I need to ask the police. Can you, can you look after my son for a sec? Yes, of course. Charlie, just stay with the lady. I'll be right back, OK? Yes, Mummy. Police aren't very popular these days, Charlie. You a fan of Ziggy Ray? She's cool. My mummy paints her. She was really nice to me. What, this mummy? No. My other mummy. They're fighting at the moment. How do you know I have two mums? That's a good quality, Charlie. To be able to ask questions. I get told off when I ask too many. Well, that'll never change unless you demand answers. Question everything. This is Uncle Morgan's phone. Presented with the portrait of a great society. It is a veneer, a lie. No petitions or marches will bring the change we need. We've been left with no option but violence. Today, our statements throughout London will echo around the world. Behold, our masterpiece. for 25. Uh, it's pure indica. Do you want it or not? This is all I've got. Then I'm afraid... Whatever you want to call it, stop it! Society cannot face it any longer.
This is a portrait by a prodigiously talented young woman named Riley Mulherry. Bit weird, but tell me more. And the subject's her ex-girlfriend, and Riley herself is a child of subculture. Years of invalidation from her peers forced her to bleed through her art. <laughs> I knew no one would disturb us. Now guard that case with your life. I will, Nikki. I promise. Speak of the devil, Riley. I was just showing someone your portrait. What they think of that ugly mug? Loved it, obviously. Your work is some of my best. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. I'm still a little fucked up from last night. Oh, hope it's not. Don't say coronavirus. I'm so over that shit. Look. <coughs> I need that money from my last portrait you sold. Sure, I'll transfer it Monday morning. My commission is going to be high, though. It was a hard sell. Your best work is a hard sell. Price of entry, right. See ya. At you all day. Excuse me? Oh, hi. I hope you don't mind me borrowing the armchair. I, that's what they're there for, customers. You can remove your face mask if you want. Oh. Thanks. The, uh, the chair's a bit rickety, you can see with a refurb. I'm looking to paint a copy of one of your portraits. Look, madam, we're closed. Well, you don't usually close this early, do you? No, but uh, we have a big weekend ahead, and... Sorry, how did you get in? The front door should have been locked. I'm afraid it wasn't. My security system was armed. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I, I walked right in. Sorry for the confusion, madam. There must have been some sort of error or something. Well, it's all right. These things happen. Anyway, don't worry. I, I turned the lock with my own hands after I came in. I wouldn't want someone lifting one of these beautiful paintings. Well, they aren't quite Rembrandt's. <laughs> Rembrandt was overrated. Seriously? Yeah, just a well-versed imitator of Caravaggio. Each to their own. Look, like I said, w we've got a big day tomorrow and we're closing early. Oh, yeah, the dried Noakes portrait of Ziggy Ray. How'd you pull that off? We displayed Nikki's portraits before she became, you know. Won the Turner Prize. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's the personal link. You know, you do a great thing here, showcasing emerging artists. Oh, I'm Dorian, by the way. Uh, Morgan. <laughs> Dorian, like? Dorian Lee, the fashion icon. It's a lovely name. I must say, you're the first ever reproduction artist to visit one of my exhibitions. You mean forger? Uh, faithful reproduction is an art in itself, although you would be Rembrandting a Caravaggio. Touché. Now, I've been um, just struggling for inspiration recently. It's tough. That's why I gave up painting myself. I, I just didn't have it. I figured I'd contribute more by helping those who did. In that case, could I paint you? You would make an amazing subject in so many ways. <laughs> you really seem quite enthralling. I guess I could spare half an hour. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, let me just reconfigure.
Do you want me to give you a hand? Uh, oh, could you move the easel? That would be great. Sure. Thanks. Uh, a bit further back. Uh, take a seat. I'm um, sorry about my Rembrandt comment. I, I have some strong opinions. It was bold, but valid. Rembrandt stole from his students for the last 10 years of his career. Great. Let's leave it there for tonight. I can sit for you again next week. Dorian, I need to go home. I tell you what, I'll take some reference photos and then I won't have to come back. Can I, uh, can I borrow your smartphone? <laughs> you haven't got your own. I'm uh, not really the smartphone type. <laughs> That's refreshing to see. I'll email them to you. If you have an email address, that is. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't worry, I'm not that sketchy. Can you give me my phone back, please? Okay, Dorian, I think... That's an important call. Give me... All right. That's it. I'm done. I, I, I... I wouldn't if I were you. Stand up. And this room ends up looking like a Jackson Pollock. Have a feel under your seat. That is a PAD. Pressure activated detonator. A bomb, Morgan. It's a similar principle to a grenade. Once the safety pin is removed, the striker lever and percussion cap collide, creating a spark, which uh, triggers the detonator. Once you sat on that chair, you became the safety pin. This... This isn't real. Go on. Try it. never been someone's muse, have you? Do, do, like do you want money? Uh, Camille Claudel to Rodin, or Elizabeth or, Sadal to Rossetti, or a painting, or, uh, Frida Kahlo any one to of Diego these. Rivera, or Dorian, what do you want? Be smart, Morgan. Get rid of her. Now, calmly, 
tell me what time Nicky's painting is being delivered. Uh, it's being delivered at 6am by a fine art transportation company. It'll be brought in through the back door, just through there. And we have until the morning, as I'd hoped. That's what you're really after, isn't it? So this is some sort of performance piece? Yeah, let's call it that. A once-in-a-lifetime performance. I see what... Make amends. By telling them that a psychopath blew up their portrait. by telling them that a psychopath blew up their portrait. These contact names. You only see the product, not the person. Hello! Riley, it's Morgan Haynes. Yeah, I'm kind of busy. I can hear that. I'm, I'm calling about your portrait. I'm really sorry, but it's... What about it? It's been sold. The person I showed it to earlier bought it there and then. Congratulations. No shit. That's dope. It's a shame you're taking most of the profit. Ah, uh, yeah, the, 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 the commission. Uh, Duh. Uh, sorry, I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> a bit slow this evening, are we? Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you, Riley. Whatever. That wasn't making amends, you selfish prick. Okay. Mm
by telling them that a psychopath blew up their portrait. These contact names. You only see the product, not the person. Hello? Riley, it's Morgan Haynes. Yeah, I'm kind of busy. I can hear that. I'm, I'm calling about your portrait. I'm really sorry, but it's... What about it? There was an accident. The painting was destroyed. I'm really sorry. An accident? How the fuck do you manage that? A mishap. You're an art curator. Oi, what's my use? How hazardous can your job be? I put my heart and soul into that painting. Do you think I do this for fun? Art is what keeps me alive. I don't know what to tell you. Fuck you. I hope you get what's coming to you, Morgan. You really are a piece of shit. For telling her the truth, I, I made amends. You heard her. You can't put a price on what that painting meant to her. The most heartbreaking thing for an artist is the loss of their work. Why did you choose it? 1992 was the year that Francis Bacon died, but that's a bit obscure and macabre. It's just some random choice. Mood lighting. Why have you stopped by? There's been a service, but uh, you'd have to hold a gun to this one's head to make it official. Yes. Have ambitions. Fucking orgasms. Nikki. No. Maybe you think you've outsmarted me or something, but you need to consider your position very carefully. I'm sorry. Morgan. Does it matter? All your opinions matter to me. Go on. I'm listening. Who the fuck are you? Where's that fuck with Morgan? You, you prick! You fucking destroyed my painting! Do you realise how much time I spent on that? I swear I'm gonna dox the shit out of you, fucker!